dear Prime Minister Kishida, dear colleagues, first of all, I would like to thank you and your nations for unity and assistance during last year, the year of our resilience, both of Ukraine and of every one of you, dear leaders. Thank you, Prime Minister Kishida and all the people of Japan for your solidarity and support in defending life and international law. Thank you for efficient organization of the G7 work during Japanese presidency and for your attention to Ukrainian participation in the summits. And I thank you, President Biden, and all the people of the United States for the historically important consolidation of the world in defense of freedom and for your fundamental contribution to Ukrainian stability and our ability to win. And thank you, Mr. President, for another strong package of support. Thank you, Americans and Congress. I thank you, Emmanuel, Mr. President, and all the people of France of unwavering support of Ukraine and those principles, principles that life on our continent is built upon, free, equal, and truly fraternal ones. And I thank you, Georgia, dear President of the Council of Ministers, and all the people of Italy for clearly choosing the bright side of history, for choosing the values of freedom and humanity that the Russian aggressor will never destroy. I thank you, Rishi, dear, dear Prime Minister, and all the people of the United Kingdom for the great power you have which you share with Ukraine, power that serves to stabilize international relations. And I thank you, Justin, dear Prime Minister, and all the people of Canada for your sincere desire to help and for the fact that this desire never remains, just a willingness, but always turns into action. I thank you, Olaf, dear Federal Chancellor, and all the people of Germany for your determination, which not only helps to protect Ukraine and all over Europe, the resolve you are showing now in confronting Russian terror will be one of the most important bases of the future long-term and truly secure peace for all Europeans. And, uh, and I am grateful to to all our friends in the EU institutions. Thank you, dear Charles, dear Ursula, for taking care of Ukraine as a part of the European Union. This is your strategic vision of Europe, the attitude that has been lacking in European institutions for decades. Now that vision is there. Thank you. Dear colleagues, we withstood this year. We started to free our land from Russian evil. We are in the return of security to international relations. And you and I can make this year 2023 to be the year of the end of Russian aggression, the year of the return to peace, the year of the liberation of our land and our people from Russian captivity. Now, in the non-public part of our meeting, I would like to focus on what Ukraine needs so that our coalition of defenders of freedom becomes a coalition of winners in 2023. Thus, I will focus on five priorities. First, weapon. Second, sanctions. Third, finance. Fourth, justice. Fifth, unity.